Today on Real Life. I'm a good person. I go to church. I give money to the church. I'm a good student. Why not? So he said, Stella, if that was enough to take you to heaven, what was the need of Jesus coming to die on the cross for you? I was born in Bogota, Colombia. I was educated with nuns all my life. And when I was 17 years old, uh, I was convinced <laughs> by the nuns <laughs> that it was a good idea to enter the convent. But it was uh, a painful situation for me. I cried almost every day for a year. But the nuns will tell me that was part of your vocation, that you will have to struggle, but uh, to persevere in it. And, and I did. But I realized when I became a nun, and I went back to a university, that really, as educators, because we were teachers, we were not preparing children for the war, the way it was. So I finally had enough courage to tell my superiors that that was not my vocation. And the mother superior told me, Stella, look at that cross. Are you going to betray him? I said, mother, I know what the Lord is telling me in my heart. I said, perhaps life outside the convent will be harder, but I'm not afraid. And uh, they allow me to leave. But the prison that I have was in my heart. And the only one that could take me out of that prison was the Lord. However, I didn't know how yet. My daddy died a year after I left the convent, and my mother sent me to study to the United States. And um, I met the one that was to be my future husband, and we got married, and we situated ourselves in Houston, and he told me, sweetheart, you have a degree from Colombia, but you don't have any degree from the United States. I would like for you to go back to the university. While I was there, I met a professor that the Lord used to change my life. He was different from the other professors. And one time in class, we were analyzing a piece of literature and he said, you're going to use your particular point of view. Could be Freudian, naturalistic, humanistic, any point of view that you have, but I want you to analyze this piece of literature and be consistent. He said, my particular point of view is the evangelical point of view. I was so surprised that a professor at a public university would reveal to me his faith, his belief. I was a nun, and I never talked to anybody what I believe. So I took the paper to him, and I said, Dr. Thomas, can I ask you a question? He said, yes. Doctor, what is your religion? He said, Stella, I'm a Christian. I said, well, I'm a Christian too, but I mean, what church do you go to? 
said, Stella, that's not what makes me a Christian. What makes me a Christian is the relationship that I have with the Lord. Going to a church doesn't make you a Christian the same way that going to a garage doesn't make you a car. And he said to me, Stella, you said you are a Christian too? I said, yeah. If you were to die today, where will you go? Oh, I said, I think I go to heaven. He said, why? I said, I'm a good person. I go to church. I give money to the church. I'm married. I'm a good wife. I'm a student. I'm a good student. Why not? So he said, Stella, if that was enough to take you to heaven, what was the need of Jesus coming to die on the cross for you? For the first time, he explained to me, and I realized that salvation was a gift. But that gift is not mine until I accept it. For so many years, I have worked so hard to be good. But I have rejected that gift that he was offering me for free. So he asked me if I wanted to give my life to the Lord. And yes, I wanted to. And immediately a desire started in me to know him more, to know the Bible, to serve him. The very next day, I went to the Catholic Church. I asked if they have a Bible study. And they told me, yes, I attended that Bible study, but it was just a tape on a VCR. That was not a Bible study. That was not what I wanted. I, I needed someone to explain to me the gospel. And right there, I said, the church is not the one that saves me. It's the Lord. And he already saved me. So I'm going to find a church where I can serve him. And I can learn about him. And I went to Sagemon Church. And I never left. While Brother John was talking, he spoke to me. Like he was just the Lord talking directly to my heart. Like he had known me all my life. In 2001, Brother John called me, and because of my background, he wanted me to develop a curriculum uh, for people that come to the church with a Catholic background to be able to minister to them. He says, Stella, people come, and I talk to them about salvation, but their concept of salvation is different of what we teach. The concept of baptism is different of what we teach. And I did. And he said, I want you to teach it. And we are going to call it the Catholic Connection. I said, Brother John, I need the English Connection first. <laughs> I was so happy teaching in Spanish. People were being safe. He said, Stella, people will be safe also if you teach them in English. Just give them the gospel. Just give them your testimony. And many, many people have come to know the Lord. And that is what I asked the Lord to help me do, to follow him, to be faithful to him. He gave it all for me. I want to give it all to him.